what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead season 9 we're on the two final episodes of the season and i hope you guys are enjoying the walking dead as much as i am so it seems like um i don't even know what to call them because do they have a name do, do they even have a name at this point whatever they call the the really dead ones the guardians so i don't know if to call them the guardians i don't know but in any case lydia's people you know alpha and all of them they have found the kingdom and they know that there's going to be a fear it seems so it seems like they that's where they attack they're gonna get they're gonna attack the kingdom so this is going to be I don't even know. I'm just hoping that <sighs> people are going to die. People are going to die. Season is winding down. You know people are going to die. But in any case, I'm looking forward to see what happens. Hopefully, now that Michonne has opened up her heart, they're on their way to the kingdom. Hopefully, they get there safe before. But at least everybody is there. Enough people is there to defend this new idea of you know signing the con the new constitution and all that good stuff so let's see if that happens um so yes let's dive into it and i will have my review for the season after this so make sure you come back to check out the review of the season let's go Okay, so that was the final two episodes of Season 9 of The Walking Dead. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And my stance has not changed throughout the season. You guys have heard me say in my reviews that it was going a 10 out of 10. That did not change throughout the season. Or at the end, it has not changed for me so you already know it's going to be a 10 out of 10 season for me so let's just get that out of the way so let's talk about what happened in the season first of all but not least of all negan's redemption arc i know a lot of people is prob probably did not like that they were trying to redeem negan's character but i for one i enjoyed that aspect of it because it's also displaying a part of humanity that is kind of lost today you know what i'm saying in, in in terms of society on a whole people don't believe that people are redeemable people don't believe that people you know you have a very few people that believe that people deserve second chances everybody deserves to be canceled so it's like in in, in these days of society where everybody believes not everybody let me not generalize like that where most people or there's a toxic amount of people right that believes that people are not allowed to make mistakes right people are not allowed to do these things to to um or to actually redeem themselves i.e i could give you guys a perfect example of somebody who they tried to cancel, but he has taken the chance to kind of redeem himself from things that he has done heinous, uh, a heinous thing, uh, inconsiderable things um, that he has done. And that would be Mr. Logan Paul himself. If you guys remember what happened to him, I don't I don't want to dredge up the whole thing again, but he has been on a very a, a redeemable arc in his own in his own right, his own story. Right. Um, and I can say that he has become somebody a little bit, a, a, a bit more admirable. Not much to say about his, 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 um, his brother, his, his brother hasn't learned shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to all the recent news that has been going on with him too. But I don't want to, want to stray too far from my point here. I'm just trying to say that I welcome stuff like this in any story that I am watching, whether it be in real life or on TV, I love redeemable characters. You get what I'm saying? I love redeemable characters because I'm one of those redeemable characters in real life. You know what I'm saying? I've always been grounded, but I've done stuff. You get what I'm saying? I've done stuff that, 
you know, may not be considered the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've gotten plenty of second chances in my life, you know, just from my life story alone. I could have been a person that is dead right now. I could have been the situation. You know what I'm saying? As you guys know, if you've been around the channel long enough, you've heard me say multiple times that I've been homeless as the thunder roars outside. You know, um, I've been homeless. I've been shunned I've, uh, people has kicked me out of their homes you know hated me for no reason i've been you know what i'm saying and i consider that having a second chance in life by having somebody you know come and say i care you get what i'm saying i care about you you know what i mean so it's like um you know having that second chance and making the most of it is what I see Negan's character going through right now is he's going to get a second chance going into season 10. I believe that he's going to become an essential character, maybe even finding Rick or maybe even finding out that Rick is not dead. He's just missing. You get what I'm saying? And it's going to be an interesting relationship that Rick and Negan is going to have going forward if they ever meet up or whatever the situation is going forward I'm looking forward to it because this story is very well written and uh, I'm just looking forward to see where the story is going to take us so so throughout the season we see a multitude of things we lost some characters so let's talk about those characters for a second um, some characters that wasn't necessarily prominent into the story into the story as in characters that you cared so much about where you you get what I'm saying like there wasn't no major character deaths in this season so what I have to say about that is basically that um, did I want any of my characters to die ie you know Michonne um, you know Rick Daryl, Carol, did I want any of those characters to die? No, I did not. I did not want any of them to die. None of them died. As you can see here in the picture behind me, none of these five characters die. If any of these five characters die, we have a problem, okay? But fortunately, none of them die, okay? So that was cool. That was cool, but the characters that actually die, they've had impact on the series, never really had an issue with them. Um, you're talking about Tara, Enid, um, new grown-up character, Henry, which is, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to have much feelings towards him. He did a very good job of acting, way better than the black kid that they left behind. Um, I'll get to them in a second, right? So when it comes on to um, Henry, Henry did a very good job. I liked his, you know, the actor that played the character and Henry did a very good job throughout the season to to leading up to the death right so i have to give him props for that he he was believable even though still being naive you know what i'm saying he played a good son to ezekiel and carol right um so so yeah um enid very essential character she became you know, a very um, lovable character. She didn't get a lot of on-screen time. So it was hard for me to to really... It was unbelievable that she died. It was shocking that they put her into that group, that 10 that died. The other people were, you know what I'm saying, they were just introduced like a, a couple episodes ago, This new, this other new guy that was with... Um, I think it was Alexandria. I don't remember. Um, but the, the guy that, you know, they convinced him to, you know, the, the, um, one of the leaders of the highwaymen, right? So he was one of the, the, the deaths. Um, but I want to concentrate on the people that has been around for a while. Tara was not a favorite character for, for many, right? for many she was an okay character for me she was there sometimes she she was very annoying in season eight season eight she was annoying right um but you know still i never wanted her to die 
you know, they essentially killed off the two um, leaders of Hilltop. I'm guessing so that they can bring back Maggie in season 10. And that's the only reason I can see why they would kill Jesus and Tara, which essentially was running Hilltop, right? They killed off the two leaders over there and they're sending a bunch of strangers over there um, right now. So I'm guessing maybe, I think, because I did watch, um, I was watching Whiskey Cavalier. And when I started watching the show, I said, okay, I'm probably going to have to be prepared for, um, I'm probably going to have to be prepared for Maggie dying at some point. I, I never said this before because anytime I see characters in shows that I've watched, right? In shows that I have watched and then I, I'm watching a classic series, um, that I'm reacting to. I'm always like, okay, I guess this character died because they're showing up in another show. Not to say that actors can't do two shows at once, but it's not an easy thing to do to do two TV shows at once. They have to be filming in different seasons for this to happen, for them to be able. It's not an easy thing to pull off because most shows are showed in the same time period in on most TV shows. They're showed either, either, either you're filming in the fall so the show can, can um, premiere beginning of the year or you're filming throughout the spring and summer so things can be premiered in the fall right so it's it's it, it's a what so if you guys didn't know um miss cohen i think her name is um i didn't know she was in the walking dead right the lady that plays I think her name is Lauren Cohen, if, if I'm not mistaken. She was in this show, which got canceled, right? A show that I was enjoying to, you know what I'm saying? Not to the point where I would react to it. You know, I just, anything that has spy stuff in it, I'm always interested. So I watched the show. The first season was decent, right? It wasn't bad, but it got canceled, right? The name of the show was Whiskey Cavalier. She was on it, um... And I was, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it for what it is. It was, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention they had, you know what I'm saying? It was some fine ass looking ladies in that show. So it kept me interested. Like, let's just say that. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? As I lick my lips. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, she was in that show. And then when I started watching The Walking Dead, I was like, oh, she's in the show. You know what I mean? Like, I think it was... I don't remember if it was season two. I think it was season two she got introduced into the show, right? I think it was season two. So when I saw her, I was like, oh, so, um, you know, you know, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm prepared if it does. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so now that I know that she didn't actually die, she just left Hilltop, I'm guessing for season nine after they filmed like, she was in what the first four episodes i think she was in the first four episodes and then we had the time skip so i think i think what ha happened maybe the reason she left and sh maybe she didn't plan to come back or something another but the way out her story went or whatever or maybe she needed time to go do this new role or whatever the situation is. I don't know what it is, but it explains the absence if if you want if you want to put it like that. It it explains it. So, in any case, enough of my ranting about that stuff. In any case, the, you always know that my reviews for seasons are always long, so sit down and and listen, okay? Um cuz I'm trying to get through everything. Okay, so let's talk about these new characters. Okay, so the deaths, some of them were, were 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 unexpected. Of course, as I said, Tara, Enid, Henry, I did not expect them to die. Maybe Henry, but I did not expect them to kill Tara and Enid. Because Enid doesn't get involved with anything. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? She barely has any screen time. There was, in my opinion, they could have speared her character. But I guess, you know... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys would have cried over those characters. I wouldn't have cried over those characters. You know what I mean? Um, I almost cried when they, when that scene with Rick earlier in the season. Um, but okay, let's talk about these new characters. 
right? These new characters. I'm down with the deaf girl. The deaf girl is the best out of these four. The deaf girl is the best. Um, I'm liking the fact that she's a love interest for, for Daryl. Um, let them build some chemistry and we can see where that goes. Daryl needs some love, right? It, it's about time that Daryl gets someone to love on, someone to actually hold him at night or something. It's time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if... <sighs> You see, this is a thing where they give mixed signals about characters because I'm wondering if Carol is taking an interest in Daryl again. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of like, do you want to see them together or don't you want to see them together? Because at this point, I look, I'm looking at that relationship as a mother-son relationship, not a romantic relationship. And it seems like it's going in that direction again because she's leaving Ezekiel to go stay with Daryl at Alexandria. Like, what the hell, dude? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, is it was he jealous of the fact that Daryl was around again? You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. But in any case, as I said, these new characters, right? These new, these new characters, the deaf girl is the only one that I like out of all of them, right? The guy that plays music is uh, more of like a, a comic relief in the show, um, but he's not convincing in any way possible you get, you get what i'm saying he's more of a comedian than anything else every role that i've ever seen him play you know it's not the first role i've seen him in every role that i've ever seen that guy play he's a comedian so it's hard to take him serious it's kind of like david trimmer in, in in band of brothers i just couldn't take him serious and he ended up being the butt of the jokes all for the the, the all the time he was on screen in the show. He was the butt of the jokes. So that's what I'm saying. Some people are just not created to do like serious drama roles. Even when they're playing a comic relief. You can still do it and just just understand. Okay, just understand. He's not great. Let's just put it like that. But in any case, it was some of the jokes just didn't. It just didn't land. I don't think I I um I laughed at any of the jokes he had. It was more of like, you know, okay, we're having a conversation. Okay. You know what I mean? So for me to sit here and say that he's a good character. The black the, the black kid, you guys have heard me say it multiple times, he's a terrible actor. Um, he doesn't fit. I don't know what you guys call good acting, but good acting needs to be convincing and his acting is not convincing. He's not convincing me that he, every time he he wants to cry, that face, it, come on, bro, like conjure up some real emotions. Has anything bad ever happened to you in life? You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, you understand what I'm saying? He's, he's like a kid that nothing bad has ever happened to him, so he can't conjure up any emotion to actually play that scene out right. Not one time. And if you notice, if you guys notice this, I know you guys probably did not notice it. I didn't point it out. But if you actually pay attention to how they do the camera work when he's acting, you could see that they were trying to hide the bad acting. I'm not even playing. A lot of times... the He's talking and the camera is behind him. Why is the camera behind an actor when they're talking? Bruh, why? Behind. I'm not talking about beside, like in front, and you can see the side of their face. I'm talking about behind him. They... Let me not go in. I'm not going to go in on, on the character because, you know, I hope to God they don't make him an essential character going forward. I hope he just gets some, you know, not a lot of screen time like they did with Enid. Um, even though Enid deserved a lot more screen time than he did. But in any case, um, <clears throat> crazy. As I said, the deaf girl, very, very interested in her character going forward. Um, I like her character. And she's doing a better job at acting deaf than actually... Um, than actually her brother, right? Um, but in, but it is what it is. It is what it is. My rating for the season is 10 out of 10. Don't want to drag this on for any longer. I think I hit most of the points I want to hit. Um, so let me go into my predictions for season 10. My predictions for season 10, I mentioned a 
couple of them earlier with Negan. I think Negan is going to play a huge part in fighting in Rick. Um, also, hopefully they don't do another time skip. Um, I think the relationship between Judith and Negan is going to grow into something good. You get what I'm saying? I think he's going to grow into something good. I think, um, you know what I'm saying? I think Negan and Rick's relationship is going to grow. Um, I think all of that is going to transpire in season 10. Um, I think also, you know what I mean? I think Maggie is going to come back to Hilltop or something or something. I think she's going to be back in season 10 for sure, for sure. Um, also, Rosita, I didn't talk about that quadruple, that quadrangle or whatever <laughs> whatever it is that Negan called it. But it's a weird situation. I understand she's in love with she's in love with Gabriel, but she has a baby by Sadiq. Um and also Eugene is in love with her. So it 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 gets complicated. Eugene has accepted the fact that he'll never get Rosita. Um and Rosita is kinda like, you know, she knows so it's better that way. You get what I'm saying? At least he knows for a fact that she'll never be with him. Um, you know, so he's accepted that fact and, you know, it's good being friends. She told him, he said, listen, no matter what, you can still always come talk to me. Just don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just not going to be, we, we're not going to be in love. You get what I'm saying? But we could still be friends. And it's, it's good when women do that. I like when women do that. Don't lead a guy on to 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 have an open ear for you when you know this guy has feelings for you right if you know they have feelings for you let them know listen i'm i don't like you like that but we could still be friends you get what i'm saying don't keep him in the friend zone being in the friend zone is knowing a guy likes you and you won't you're not gonna give him a chance and you won't tell him but you're keeping him around because hey he's a friend you get what i'm saying so um, so I like that Rosita did that. I know I called her a hoe. <laughs> I know I called her a hoe. Um, so I'm going to take that back right now. She's not anymore, but she, she used to be, you know what I'm saying? She used to be, you know what I mean? Doesn't change the fact she just, she just give it up way too easy. It's like, you get what I'm saying? She's just sleeping with anybody and everybody. You know what I mean? She used to do it before she was introduced in the, into the show. She talked about it. And then she was sleeping with Abraham. Then Abraham dumped her. She slept. She does. She was like, I, you know what? I need to have sex. So I'm going to have sex. So she slept with Spencer, leading him on. You know what I mean? I, I'm surprised she didn't let Eugene hit it. I'm really surprised at that. You know what I'm saying? And then Sadiq was hitting it. You know, put a baby in her. And now she's finally found love again with Gabriel. But... To each his own. To each his own. Anyways, I appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully, I can, you know what I'm saying, when you guys watch this, um, you know, I'll see your guys' comments whenever this comes out. I don't know when it's going to come out, but I appreciate y'all nonetheless. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all. I said that already, but I know gratitude is never enough, as I say, <laughs> as I say to y'all. Anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time for season 10 see you guys whenever that comes out peace